in my view, uh, the prosecutor, the next prosecutor faces uh, uh, a number of challenges. Uh, and, and both these challenges are in multiple areas and various uh, levels or various degrees. Uh, but they are definitely challenging, and I think it should be expected really in any organization, you know, that is now uh, almost 18, 19 years old and has a lot of experience. So there's a lot of positive things that the prosecution, uh, the prosecutors uh, have done in terms of really building up uh, the institution or the office of the prosecutor and what it does. But I think that for, my, for me, the greatest challenge, challenge that the next prosecutor faces is, I think, twofold. One is uh, the quality of investigations. I think this is really fundamental uh, to any successful accountability for atrocious uh, crimes. That is the quality of investigations. And uh, the fact that this needs to be improved really is not, uh, uh, is not, uh, should not be a discovery because uh, it is reflected in the decisions of the court, in the Bemba Appeals Judgment and in other decisions. Uh, so the improving the quality of investigations, uh, I think, uh, and when you say the quality of investigations, I, 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 I take it uh, overall, because there are many components of this quality of investigation. So you have uh, the capacity, the competence of investigators, you have the, 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 the evidential analysis, you have the analytical analysis, you have a, a, a need for increased understanding of the context in which these crimes have been committed, uh, and so on and so forth, so better appreciation of the context in, uh, in which the crimes are. So the quality of investigation is number one, I think, uh, because it is evident that there are a number of instances where uh, charges have not been confirmed at the preliminary hearing stage, which is really a lower threshold of evidence. So, so that is uh, something that, that I think the, uh, the, the next prosecutor has to attend to. Linked to that, I think the next prosecutor has to attend to also uh, another fundamental aspect, a, a fundamental challenge, which is really the, the trial readiness of cases. Uh, it is uh, significant that uh, the prosecution, the prosecutor uh, in 2012, uh, in, in her own policy, uh, commits to a trial readiness of cases. But we know that the reality uh, has been different. Uh, you know, the requests have been made to, 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 to continue investigation beyond the confirmation stage uh, of hearing. So uh, I think that improving uh, uh, the quality of investigation, but at the same time, really ensuring that the cases are trial within reasonable time after the confirmation hearing will do a great deal because a fundamental and I think unacceptable uh, 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 deficiency of the ICC is this incredible delay. Uh, in the whole judicial process, uh, uh, much as it is agreed everywhere that international justice is an inherently uh, slow, but I think that when it is too slow, then victims despair, and this is the crisis now that 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 in a number of aspects that the ICC has not delivered in terms of, for example. Uh, uh, reparative justice uh, in a number of cases uh, that have been there over 12, 14 years before the ICC, but the ICC has not delivered uh, uh, reparative justice. So I think acceleration of, I mean, the, the whole process, so the quality of investigations and the trial readiness of cases uh, at the early stage will help, I think, this delivery of justice and and make, make render more effective. So these are, I think, uh, key challenges. And there are many other challenges, both in relation to preliminary examination, in relation to investigation, and so on. But I think that 
some of these, if they are attended to, and I think they can be attended to, they can be improved. Uh, I think the next uh, prosecutor would be able, and his colleagues, in her, his or her colleague, colleagues, be able to 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 advance uh, the cause of justice because uh, the prosecutor, in my view, is the engine room of the ICC. Uh, that is where uh, the evidence uh, needed in a criminal court, in a criminal justice system, international criminal justice system, that has to, so, to operate.